Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Proud here. I'm back with another Wi Fi battle. We post wins, lose, destroys. It'll be a question middle of the video at the end of the video. And at the end of the battle, I will show you guys my Pokemon sets. So let's go. Um, Looking at my opponent's team, he's working with some scary threats, man. Uh, iron threats and iron horn. Iron hands can always be a, a huge problem. Um, we got the Amaruge, I mean, and um, yeah, man, this this is you got a really scary team. But I got my boy, my guy with me, Typhlosion. Typhlosion was such a beast this match; it was unbelievable, man. You know, what I mean, um, I hate that they, they they gotta boost more of his stats, man. You know, what I mean, the only thing that's best about Typhlosion is like his uh his special attack stat, but he's still a beast, man. So let's get started. Um, he's gonna lead off with the iron hands here, and I'm gonna go into my type full. I decided to switch out here because I'm expecting a fake out, and imagine getting slapped by iron hands here. You see his, this guy's hands? It's the size of freaking two Laponies, man. It's crazy. Um, I decided to go out to my guard to take that slap to the face, and um, he takes it disrespectfully. I'm gonna go for a reflect here because um, I know that these things tend to be physical attackers, so. Um, we're gonna be taking physical attack nicely, but this close combat, I'm not sure what this iron hands was eating. I'm not sure it's some oats or something because that did a lot of damage. But um, anyways, I'm gonna go for the spare break here and I'm um, spare break does some good damage and I'm um, throw a special attack. So um, he's gonna go for the wild charge and we're able to eat that up. I'm like, let's go, God man. So I decided to set up the light screen here because that's all my um grift is meant to do. Just set up some screens that then go away. Um he is gonna go for the Volt Switch here, and we're able to live it, which is unbelievable, which is funny. I'm assuming that this is like adamant with like no special attack e um, IVs on it. But um, anyways, uh, he goes into the Iron Threads here, and um, Iron Threads is gonna get the Cork Drive. So I know that these things tend to have like similar sets with um, Great Tusk. They have like uh, Stealth Rocks and um, Rap Spin, all that grand stuff. I decided to taunt this thing just in case he wants to set up hazards. But he decided to throw his whole head at my face and I'm down with my grimp now, man. Crazy. But it's cool though, because here I get to go out to the big Balboski, my boy, my guy, that Flosion. So I know that Iron Threats is faster than me, so I decided to Terra Hand and go Terra Ice. If he does predict that and go for the Iron Hands, then I have to, you know what I mean, tell this guy, I have to email this guy like this dude's a problem. Yeah, beast, man. But I'm. I am gonna turn Tower Ice here and um I go for the flamethrower I believe. So yeah, look at Typhoon, looking beautiful man. Um he is gonna go for the bulldoze and which which is fine, you know what I mean? But the bad news is that it does lower my speed set. Um I am gonna go for a flamethrower and that's enough to take out the uh iron threats. Let's go. So Iron Threads is gone now, and I'm here. He decides to go right back to Hariyama. I'm like, you know what? I decided to stay in, even if I um even if I have low speed attack, it's still I'll speed Iron Ants. Um, I was expecting a fake out, but he actually goes for another move. So I'm like, that's perfect, man. A Typhoon is just two for two. We're just getting started, man. We are just getting started. So now he's about, now he goes into um, the Red Gyarados that he found from Johto. And he's going to get the Intimidating, which is fine. I'm not really worried about that. Um, I decided to go for the Terra Ice Head to see how much damage that's going to do. Um, he does set up the Dragon Dance. I completely forgot that... Uh, I had my speed stat lowered, so I do go for the Terra Blast here, um, see how much damage that does, and um, it does no type of damage, I, I was really disappointed at that damage. Um, he is going to go for the Waterfall here, but we do have to reflect up, which is fortunate for us, I decided to go for another Terra Blast, and um, it does some good damage, and another one will take it out, but I don't want um, the Gyarados to outspeed me and hit me with a Waterfall, because we did, we did lose our Reflect. So I decided to switch out and um, go into my Haxorus here because I'm pretty sure we could take a water attack. We are a Dragoon, baby. So he is going to um, go for the waterfall, trying to drown me like the mob. And I'm, I'm like, okay, that's fine. So here he, he terrestrialized. Yeah, I'm not sure if he didn't know what Haxorus normally do. Like, they normally carry the first impression. But um, he does terrestrialize into uh, Terra tar Flying. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm assuming he's gonna go for the Terra Blast here. But I'm like, you know what, man? We carry the first impression. Hello, how you doing? And then kick you in the face. And then, <laughs> like, Haxorus is that mine, man. But the good news is that not only Gyarados, the huge threat is down, um, they also can't use this Terra anymore. So we're looking really splendid, man. Um, now he's gonna go into the uh, Hydreigon. And I believe, yeah. Haxorus is faster than Hydreigon, so I do go for the Dragon Claw here, and he literally live on 1 HP. That is unbelievable. And Haxorus got an attack stat like freaking 
he got a huge attack that this is so unfortunate man but um my actress is gone now and um, hey, i decided to go out to my typhlosion we can outspeed this thing i'm gonna hit this thing with another terror blast that's enough that you got the hydrate out let go yo typhlosion is a straight monster man it's unbelievable terror ice typhlosion guys you guys gotta use it i am gonna show you guys my pokemon set so don't even worry about it um Hydrate is gone now, and um, here he's gonna go into the um, what should we call it? The Cerule, uh, Armor Rouge. So Armor Rouge come out here, and I decided to switch out because I'm expecting an Armor Cannon. Um, I decided to go into my Beyblade, my um, what should we call it? Uh, Gamora. So um, we come out here cool, and uh, this thing goes for a straight for a Psychic. I'm not sure if he was predicting that, but that was a good play on his part if he did. And um, I should have to take out my Gamora, man, crazy. So guys, question of the day. What is your favorite fire starter Pokemon? What is your favorite fire starter Pokemon? Let me know down in the comments. What is your favorite fire starter Pokemon? Um You guys should already know. It's my it's my boy freaking Typhlosion. Typhlosion is my favorite fire starter Pokemon. He's not good competitively, <laughs> but you know what I mean, Typhlosion, that's that's my mind, man. But let me know down in the comments. So here I made a um a barrage of stupid plays here. So um I go for the Hydro Steam, and that does hips, heaps to the armor roots. And here, I thought the low kick was going to be able to take it out. And what happened here is really bad. He goes for the Trick Rule, and then he's able to hit me off with a Psychic. So now, armor roots is looking extremely scary. Um, I only have two Pokemon left. That is uh, this Pokemon, Tinglu, and uh, my uh, Typhlosion. So, Tinglu is slow as heck. I'm pretty sure slower than him and uh, Moongus. So um, I am going to set up some Stealth Rocks here because we can take any attack from this thing except for this Energy Ball. But we do take it relatively nicely. Um, we do get a special defense drop, which is horrible. So I'm like, all right. I'm going to go for the Whirlwind here because um, I want to. I know that this armor is going to go down from the Stealth Rock, so I don't have to worry about him. Um, he does go for the Armor Cannon, and that does heaps. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So this is really bad now because um, the trick room is up and um, the, um, the Moongus is faster than uh, my Typhlosion. So we're going to have to figure out how to waste these turns. That's why I did the, the Whirlwind um, on the uh, uh, Armor Rouge. So Amoongus comes out here. He gets some um, Stealth Rock damage and I'm going to eat some leftovers. So uh, I have no choice but to go for it's like move. He does hit me with the Pala Puff here. Last enough to take out my um, my shot glass. <laughs> but the good news is that I believe that the dimensions do turn around this turn, so um, I'm able to go into my Typhlosion. That's crazy. Tang Blue and Amoongus are some slow ass Pokemon. Um, anyways, I go into my Typhlosion, my last Mon. I go for the Terra Blast here. I'm hoping that it takes it out. It doesn't take it out, man. Unbelievable. You know what I mean? And on top of that, this freaking goddamn mushroom uh, is eating the citrus berry right in front of my face. And I'm tired as hell. I don't like that citrus, citrus berry. But um, he's going to go for the Pollen Puff. We live it, man. Yo, Typhlosion was a beast this match. He took out four of his mods, man. Straight tough. Straight tough, man. Um, I am going to go for the Terror Blast here. That's enough to take out the Amoongus. And um, you guys already know what's going to happen to this Rulage. And that's the match, guys, man. We post with Rulage Draws. I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Like, subscribe for your boy. Please, please. I only need, I think, four subscribers to get like 1090, I believe. 12, 1290. But whatever. You know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed this match, man. I'm out of here.